Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It seems that we have inspired several people out there to start live streaming, including this guy, Dimitri, who writes in that uh, he's happy we inspired him. But notes, for some reason, my CPU load keeps going to 140% plus when I stream video and audio using the Flash software in my browser. It doesn't seem to be a Ustream.tv problem because I have the same issue streaming via other broadcasting websites and services. After surfing the net for solutions, I found that a lot of the people share this problem. It seems to happen to those who try to stream using a MacBook. It also doesn't matter if I try it via Safari or Firefox, the problem's always the same. The funny thing is that when I disable audio streaming, the CPU load gets cut in half. So only video broadcasting will produce a 70% CPU load on the browser while broadcasting both runs it up to 140% plus. Now I think I've heard you say that you also stream via a Mac. Maybe there's a difference between using an iMac or a MacBook, or maybe you're using some other version of Flash than the rest of us. Anyways, it's been driving me nuts for weeks, and I'm ready to throw in the towel. So are you basically, you are basically the last straw. Does my problem seem familiar? If not, could you ask around to see if you can get some sort of answer concerning this issue? Um, well, I can tell you I have the exact same issue uh, that you do. I am pretty much running at 100% CPU on my Mac Mini, which is what this live feed, feed runs through. Not only am I pushing high quality audio and high quality video out, but I'm also using Cam Twist, and they all are pushing my CPU to its limits and likely beyond. But that Mac has pretty much been doing that straight for a year, and it's still going. So if, I don't know if that's testament to the fact that it, it can hold up under stress. Either way, when you're using Flash uh, to stream out data, video, and especially audio, then yes, you are going to be pushing your CPU. Uh, and of course, the Flash software is running through your browser. The only way to decrease the load, uh, the CPU load, is to use better software to stream. But right now, all those services only offer better streaming software for Windows users. If you're using a Mac, you're pretty much stuck with what you've got right now. At some point, maybe we'll be able to stream out in another format, in another fashion that will be far more friendly to our hardware, and certainly hardware accelerated. I will also note that Adobe has just announced uh, that they're going to be releasing Adobe uh, the Adobe Flash Player. I have to think like back to how many versions of Flash there's been. Um, number ten is going to be coming out on the uh, the lab site for Adobe. I think it's labs.adobe.com, and that is going to have a few uh, benefits for people who develop Flash applications, as well as allegedly tie into more hardware accelerated uh, Flash um, video playback, knock on wood. I don't know if that is going to help us in whether we use Flash Player on uh, Windows or Mac, but hopefully uh, it will help those of us who are streaming. I can tell you this, if you are finding that your CPU is, is just getting pushed to its limits and that you know, you're trying to do other things with that computer, uh, you could bring down the quality of your audio without really causing uh, too much of a degradation in overall sound quality. The uh, If you go from 44, which is the highest level, to 22, if all you're doing is just speaking regular blah, 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 you'll be fine. Uh, however, uh, if you, uh, well, you can't, you can't go to 36, Desert Warrior, because, well, at least the, well, I guess you can. Um, I usually go in, no, no, is it 44? I don't want to change anything because if I do, then it'll really mess up the audio on this particular recording. Um, it depends on the applet that you're running in. Ustream allows you, Ustream.tv, of course, uh, allows you to adjust the slider uh, on both the video and the audio, and you'll notice that uh, going from 44 to 22, audio quality is just as good if you're 
doing nothing but speech. If you're talking about streaming music and stuff, then you definitely want to go 44. But it is going to push your CPU uh, to its limits, certainly. There's really no way around that other than using Windows and using the special software that's available through any one of these free uh, internet broadcast providers. So I'm grateful for Ustream.tv as well as the others because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this live stream. And uh, so if you want to catch me and the rest of the crew with our live stream, or maybe you've got a few other suggestions for us, uh, you could stop by uh, the website that we've kind of set up for our general community with the chat room and the live video and other things that are related to the, the things that are, I guess, in and around my life. Uh, you can get a hold of me, by the way, at chris at perillo.com. And if you want to see us live streaming, you're welcome to join us. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live dot perillo dot com. We'll see you later.